This is a reply to Tim Pool's Democrats campaign just went from bad to worse as Biden event collapses and media praises Trump. Um, okay, first off, I just uh, I, I'm not like I'm, I'm starting to just feel like he's a mouthpiece and maybe that's his whole thing rather than trying to actual represent reality. Um, the Democratic campaign is doing better than Trump in terms of uh, popular support and polling figures. Um, the Democratic campaign is winning over the swing states right now, and uh, Trump is under increasing pressure from the COVID response and the fact that COVID is now starting to enter into red states, which will affect support even more. With such high unemployment rates, um, support is quickly going downhill for working class people, working class supporters, and uh, Trump's uh, base in areas of the economy that uh, required work and money when that's jobs, 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 and whatnot. Um, if he can't deliver, then uh, people s stop supporting, um, and that's what you're starting to see. So it's as things progress, um, people that are in power in government, people are just going to start being more and more disgruntled against government, which goes into phase two and unrest where people eventually, the, you know, disbelief and uh, depression of the events of loss um, and grief will turn into anger against government and it doesn't matter whether it's a republican governor or a democratic governor or a republican president or a democratic president um, people will look for change in government because they have been unable to give them what they need uh, to live the life that they want and they'll look for ways out uh, it's kind of come down to policy but I think, uh, you know, there's like the vast majority of the states and vast majority of the voters are already camped in pretty heavily. Uh, there's a certain amount of people that are able to swing back and forth, but the vast majority of people um, are already locked in. And the people that are able to swing back and forth, um, if they're people that are out of work, because of shutdowns or out of work because of being sick or the fact they got sick, um, they had family members die, and what they see, and they, they look for someone to blame. It's not going to be the guy who wasn't doing anything at the time or who wasn't saying anything about the issues or proposing solutions. It w will be the people that had were, they were the ones in control and failed to solve it. Again, this this whole thing, I only got to the seven minute mark on this because it's just uh, he, he's reading the Washington Post article and it's just it seems like he's just trying to smear Biden and that's all this this is. If you want to talk about the campaign, that would be fine, but he, he just is basically casting Biden as uh, a senile old man and you know, a lot of old seniors, if they were to watch this video, I'm sure they would probably be offended at what Tim's saying here, an obnoxious young person who has no idea about the world around him. Um, maybe somebody just being a mouthpiece for the right-wing perspective, um, as opposed to actually putting forward information that's valid on the actual results of the campaign, rather than the appearance of the campaign to him. Um, you can have an old man or somebody who's real and is themselves and people can like that. People can s see that as somebody they would support. Um, so it, just because it's not your model of perfection and the perfect gung ho leader, um, doesn't mean that a lot of Americans support somebody who has policies that he supports, um, as opposed to, just being all show and people have faults people aren't perfect so for you to attack him for not being perfect um, you know I think what you're doing is basically trolling so um, I don't know you keep on getting fed into fed into this fed into my stream so I'm responding because that's what I'm doing right now to respond to people fed into my stream but seriously man 
why are you wasting your time with this stuff? Like, it's not actual information. Um, if people wanted to find out what happened at this remote webcast, they'd watch it. Post up a link to that. Let them form their own opinions rather than just talking about people talking about what happened. That's 24 minutes. How long was the uh, conference? I'm sure people could have watched that and uh, formed their own opinions rather than you just talking about um, so how bad somebody is when it's clear uh, you're not actually following the, the polls, you're not following people's actual responses and people's voting intentions, you're not representing information, you're just talking down people. Uh, now to watch the rest of your video if I can get through it. Because uh, I think you have potential, it's just the sources and the way you're going about it, it's not very smart, not very smart at all. It's uh, pure and simple smear, smearing and uh, yeah. You have potential for more than that.